the song. Now, Andy McCloskey is a singer, musician, songwriter and pioneer behind one of the biggest 80s bands, OMD, of course, and a proud Merseysider. And I'm delighted to say that uh, Andy is with us this afternoon. First of all, Andy, uh, your reaction when you heard the news about Janice? I was absolutely stunned, Helen. I couldn't believe it. Just last thing I was expecting on Boxing Day. And it was amazing how within a few minutes of the news coming on, my phone just lit up. Everybody I knew was like, did you hear? Did you hear? I can't believe it's happened. It's just testament to how many people that knew and loved Janice. And in a moment, we're going to be bringing in Billy Butler, who is another iconic presence in the city and an ambassador for, for the music scene. But for, for yourself, Andy, tell us about when you were starting out and how supportive that she was to you. She really was. I mean, obviously, you mentioned that, you know, she she, she had her own show on, on Merseyside. And right from the very beginning, she championed um, local bands. And then she, she took that into the national stage when she went to Radio One and went on to, on to Top of the Pops. And uh, she was always excited to meet people that she knew from Liverpool, all the bands that would go to. I don't recall her at Eric's, but I used to see her at Brady's all the time. And uh, we'd be talking about, the you know, the, what she'd heard and who she liked and who was up and coming and it was just she was so plugged in to Liverpool music and what about yourself and your, your moments with her obviously she played a vital part in supporting OMD and, and and the band's rise to prominence how did she help you know what by just championing us and other bands you know she she, she would play bands before you'd ever heard of them and and every band needs somebody to fly the flag for them and 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 to start to break them into the local and then the 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 national radio i mean you know in those days it was radio that's how you heard about about artists and she really was a, a a pioneer she was like a female john peel you know she janice would play it first and Andy, I'm going to ask you to stay on the line. We're going to bring in Billy Butler, of course, 1978. I'm going to go back to Andy and just ask uh, for your final thoughts. Uh, speaking to everyone today, and we're going to ask the same. Your, your Janice legacy, Andy, how will you remember her? I will remember Janice as somebody who was as genuine and happy with that fabulously infectious, dirty, deep laugh of hers. Um, she was in person as she was on the radio. She didn't have a radio personality put on. She was just her. And my, to be honest, my favourite and funniest memory was Janice presenting Top of the Pops. And, you know, now there's so many female presenters. You forget that 40 years ago, Radio 1 and Top of the Pops, Top of the Pops was a boys' club. She, you know, she really broke that mould. And I can remember her in the late 80s pointing across the Top of the Pop studio at me, live on TV, going, Anne McCluskey, tuck your shirt in. And <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, and it's, it's such a shame. Because, you know, she, she, she'd gone, come back up north. She, she was presenting on BBC Radio, uh, uh, BBC Radio Wales from Rex. And she loved that. They, they, they were allowing her to be, as she was 40 years ago, her own playlist what she wanted, what she discovered, and she, she was loving every minute of that. And Billy, what a thank you to you also, Andy, for giving us your time today. You're welcome, Helen.